we've got some unboxing to do today. Alright, so this is the Ryobi Electrostatic Fogger. It's used for disinfecting, uh, well that's what we're going to be using it for, disinfecting rooms and inflatables. So let's go ahead and get to unboxing this. Where to start? <laughs> oh yeah. So it's 18 volt, it's got a battery. And the battery charger. Oh yeah. That looks different from the other one I got. It's got safety tags on it, so it must want us to read stuff. Oh, it tells me how to fill up the reservoir and stuff. All right, let's see if this battery had any charge in it whenever it got here. Ta-da! Um. Ooh, it does a thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to read a little bit about it and figure out what it's doing. And let's come back to it. All right, so we got a quick start guide. It is only a page. Oh. oh, it's a really big page. Oh, that's good. It's got a little cutty line that we can like uh, just. I don't need Spanish. I just need this. All right, so what do we do? Quick start guide. Insert nozzle. Done. Select the mode. Done. Fill the tank. We'll do later. Install battery pack. Oops, sorry, did that. Uh, uh, turn on the sprayer. Yep, did that too. Um, use the electrostatic function. Yep, I flipped that switch. Uh, remove battery and thoroughly clean sprayer after each use. What? Ugh. Well. That was very detailed instructions. Well, that's the electrostatic sprayer from Home Depot and Ryobi. Uh, it makes noises whenever you hold down the button, and once we get some stuff inserted up into it, it will do a spray, so let's go check out the spray. But before we do that, we better open up this other box because it's big and has been just staring at me the whole time with this little smiley thing. So. Let's open it up. All right, right here, here. Got it. Cut away from yourself and do not plunge knife into the box. Pointy objects can hurt unpointy objects. What have we got here? It's snakes! Oh, it's a little box inside of a big box. Plastic bottles, 
Do not cut or crush. Keep from freezing. Um, just to note, that little safety message should have been like that. Uh, that would have been helpful. But it was inside of another box, so I just guess it doesn't matter. But. All right, we got the disinfectant. It's Decon 30, which was recommended by a user in the inflatable industry for sanitizing all types of attractions and cool things, what they do. So, let's figure out how much to put in that and see if that does a thing. So I've read over most of the instructions and we're going to go ahead and fill up the reservoir there on the sprayer. So the Decon 30 says that it doesn't need diluted. It's ready to go in the bottle. So I'm just going to pour the bottle into the other bottle and uh, try to spray it. So it says that you should go ahead and put uh, it on which selection. It's got three selections for what type of micron you're going to be spraying. Micron would be the size of the particle coming out of the fogger. And, oh no. I do it without spilling everywhere. Ho, ho, ho. Ah. Oh, it smells like lemon. Okay, reapply the lid. So the lid has a little spot for an o-ring to go into and this has an o-ring so and it doesn't matter which way the thing to put back on it will fit either way which is nice so you don't have to remember that all right now that's on and it's on sprayer one which is uh, sprayer one is 50 micron so Ooh. oh no okay turn on the electrostatic So something I don't like about it already, once you get done with spraying it, it turns off the motor and then it drains all of what is from like here to the nozzle. It's draining out slower so it comes out as a spurt instead of a mist or a fog. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind whenever I'm doing inflatables. Uh, let's switch it to one of the, uh, let's switch it to two, which would be the 75 micron. And 75 micron, it doesn't do as much of the uh, uh, last little bit getting out of there. Uh, one more. Sprayer 3 is the 100 micron. 
spray that. And that one, it had very little at the end, so that's good. Um, as a fogger, I, I thought this was a fogger, but it's it's just an electrostatic sprayer, so that's a little bit um, that's different than what I was expecting it to be, but I guess it still works the same way. That's that. That's the unboxing video of the electrostatic sprayer. I'm going to go ahead and spray some of the escape rooms and uh, we'll do some inflatables on down the way in the future. So make sure you check in and make sure you like and subscribe so you can be notified whenever we upload new content. And so you can see this in action because we're going to be using it a lot throughout the summer. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hey, welcome to the Heist Escape Room. This room you're trying to get in and get out with a painting before you get caught. All right, let's see what it does. So I am seeing that it's putting out a lot of liquid, which I thought it was going to be more of a fog and come and like, it puts out a lot of liquid. I don't know if I like that, but the bottle says to let it dry for about 30 seconds and then uh, let it dry over time. So it probably takes about 10 minutes for a room to be ready after it's been sprayed. So. Yep, and it smells clean, so yay, it works. Leave a comment down below what you think, and this the Ryobi Electrostatic Sprayer, not a fogger. Who made such a mess here? So much water, or whatever this is, I don't know, it's on 30. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So if you guys use any type of disinfectant, uh, leave a comment down below, see if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. And if you have any other disinfectants that you use, uh, also leave that down in the comments. And also, if you can, link it so we can check it out. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.